Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel. Imagine you could take eight classic 80s DX7 FM synthesizers and compress them into a Raspberry Pi the size of a matchbox, just like the original TX816 did in the 80s. Well, that's exactly what the open source project I'm going to talk about today is doing. And they do this by running this on the bare metal without an operating system. So if you're interested, please join me in this video and let's take a Look at this. Let's begin by assembling the LC display and the rotary encoder on the breadboard. I'll link all of these in this video's description. In this video I'm soldering the wires to the rotary encoder directly, as pushing the encoder on the breadboard was too unstable. Now connect all the wires of both the encoder and the display according to the plan on Minitech's GitHub page, and please note they didn't mention you also need to connect the power and the ground pins correctly. Both devices need to be connected to the 5 point 5 volts ports. Let's look at the other things you need for this project. First and foremost, a Raspberry Pi. This here is Model 3, but Model 4 and the new Raspberry Pi 2.0 should work as well. If you want a linear, noise-free audio output, you'll also need an audio hat. This project requests a PCM5122 compatible digital audio converter, and luckily, this cheap audio hat from RaspberryPiAudio.com checked out box. For this video I'm using this port extender so I can also connect the other components. This gives you three GPIO ports instead of only one. Next I already assembled this breadboard setup here. We have a 1602 LC display over here which will display the menu for synth management and patch editing. And here's a KY40 rotary encoder that also can be pressed like a button and we can use this to navigate the menu. And last but not least, you need an SD card containing the synthesizer software and the DX7 patches. Now let's assemble this and turn it on. Now you can connect a USB MIDI keyboard or controller and start playing this synth. One word on installing the software. This is really straightforward. Just go to the Minitex GitHub page and download the zip file containing the current release. Unzip this and copy all the files to an SD card formatted in FAT32. You then want to create a folder named SysX and within that a folder named Voice. Now copy all the sound bangs you want into that folder. If you're using an external sound card, also edit the Minitex.ini and uncomment the I2C line and, and comment the PWM line. Save this and insert the SD card into the Raspberry Pi. This setup boots within seconds and you now can immediately start playing on your MIDI keyboard. Let's take a look at navigating the menu on the synthesizer. On the top level of the menu, you can select one of the eight tone generators based on DEX, an open source DX7 emulator. Spinning the encoder will cycle through the synths. You can also configure the plate reverb here or save your setup. Let's go back to the first tone generator. Double tapping the encoder takes you to that synth submenu. Here we can select the voice or bank, adjust the volume and the panning, the reverb send, the tuning and the MIDI channel. And we can also edit the voice. Let's select the patch. Go back to the voice menu entry and double tap it. You can now see I selected the strings from the classic DX7 patches here, which sounds like this. Tapping the encoder one time will take you back to the higher menu. Let's take a look at the bank by double tapping here. Obviously, this bank has no name. I lowered the volume of this patch so it doesn't overwhelm the other tracks in the mix. Remember, this synth has 8 parts of my triad timbrality. On lesser parts like the zero, you get only one tone generator instead of the eight you can use simultaneously on the Pi 3, 4 and 400. This string sound has a low volume and is panned hard left, layered on another string sound panned hard right, for a nice fat chorus effect. Also, reverb sound is maxed out because, of course, this pad is also slightly detuned for a fuller sound. 
both left and right pad sounds are listening on MIDI channel 1, so both can be played on the keyboard simultaneously. Let's quickly inspect the second tone generator. We've got the same patch but panned out right, and with less amount of detuning, and as I said before, it's on the same MIDI channel as the first pad, leading to this nice stereo sound. On the third tone generator, I've selected the DX7 slap bass. This is listening on MIDI channel 2, so let's select that track on the sequencer. On the 4th and 5th tone generator, I have the classic DX7 electric piano sound and a variation of it layered on top of each other, just like the pad for the nice rich sound. On each pad, you can also access a full patch editor, but I will talk about this in a future video. For now, I'll play a short demo using only the mini text and the sequencer here. Here we go. Short reminder, if you like content like this and want to see more about the possibilities of using Raspberry Pis, please hit the like and subscribe button now. Seeing those numbers grow makes me happy and keeps me motivated to post new videos, for example about the Raspberry Pi and lots of other stuff. Thank you! Yeah, and that's it for today. I hope you found this interesting and useful. And if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching and see you again very, very soon. Bye bye. Shh.